Good day students, scholars, and curious viewers. My name is Mr. SKT, otherwise known as the Super Karaishi Teacher. In today's Math Literacy lesson, we're going to be going over scales. Now those of you who might have watched the measurement video first, will think, hey, we covered scales when we were doing measuring of mass. Wrong kind of scales. This types of scales are the scales that involve maps. So, and the reason why this section tends to follow straight after measurement is because it's very closely related to measuring distance and length. So, with that, without the way, let's let us begin. So firstly, what is the purpose of the scale of a map? Maps are small representations of a larger area. The scale of a map is there to indicate to us the factor in which the represented area is larger than the map. So, <clears throat> so for instance, let's say someone decided to make a, um, a map of Durban. A map of Durban or a map of wherever country or place that you come from. And they made a quite a small map and they said like a scale factor times times 1000. So that means the map is 1000 times smaller than what the actual place is meant to be. So in other words, Durban, Durban or whatever country you are from would be 1000 times bigger than what the map shows. That's, an, that's a quick example that I made up on the top of my head. But let's go into actually seeing how different scales are, um, how the different scales are actually represented. In other words, how many different types of scales are there actually? There are two in terms of mass literacy, and that is the number scale or the ratio scale, and also the bar scale. How does each type of scale work? So this is where I got to do some drawing. So first, we, first we're going to look at the number scale. Over here I decided to make a map of a, a star shaped island. And on this island I made this map be at a 1 is to 100,000. That is how you read that ratio by the way. <clears throat> so what this means is. 1 is to 100,000, that means one unit of measurement on this map will be equivalent or represents 100,000 of that same unit in real life. So if I measured one centimeter on this map, then, in, then on the actual real life, on the actual ground, that would represent 100,000 centimeters. If I measured five millimeters on this map, that would be now if one mil now this indicates that one millimeter will be equivalent to one hundred thousand millimeters. So five millimeters will be five times a hundred thousand, which is five hundred thousand millimeters on the ground. And that's how a number scale works. A bar scale, on the other hand. So this is my map of a circle looking island with two eyes, A and B. And that's and including a close up of the bar scale that I made. So there are two different ways in which a bar scale can be used. So for instance, let's say you had to measure what like the distance between A and B. The first method is going to require your ruler. You place your ruler aside the scale. For my ruler, I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be using this because this is the only ruler that I could find here. And I'm just having to shift this to my right hand, which is actually more difficult than I initially think. Okay, so what you do is let's see, place ruler aside the scale. Okay. Measure the length from the edge to the first interval. So in other words, from here to the 100, the 100 kilometers. That comes to, do not start going out of focus now. 
this comes to about one and a half notch, like three notches over there. So every time I see three notches measured on my on my um, map, that's going to represent 100 kilometers. And that's essentially how that's essentially the first method. Now going back to my left hand because that's so much more comfortable. The other method, which is probably the more the measure the method that you're more supposed to use, is let's say I use let's say I use these two points um, for my example, point A and point B. You measure measure the distance between point A and point B. So I can see that that's one, two, about three, about three of the big uh, measurements over there. And then you take your ruler, and then you take your ruler and you measure out what three of those big measurements actually links up to on your scale. In this case, it links up to 200 kilometers. So that's, so therefore the distance between A and B using your bar scale would indicate 200 kilometers. And that's how you use a bar scale. Thank you, thank you Leatherman Ruler, you can go now. Advantages and disadvantages of each. First, first looking at the number scale. The advantages of a number scale is, the first one is that you can use any unit of measurement that suits the situation. If you need to use centimeters, use centimeters. If you need to use millimeters, use millimeters. If your map is big enough for you to use actual meters, then you could even use that as well. And also the calculated ground distance using a number scale is much is quite ac is accurate. But then that brings the disadvantage. The reason why a number scale is so accurate is because that number is specifically situated to a map of that size. What does that mean? Well, if we look back at our star-shaped island with our map of one is with our scale of one one is to one hundred thousand, that means if I made that map bigger or smaller, then that means that I would have to recalibrate the scale. That means I would need to rework the scale in order to match the new size of the map. And that can take and that can be kind of annoying. And the other one is it's hard to imagine large numbers of a small unit. So let's take that hundred thousand one is a hundred thousand. Okay. Let's say I measured out um two let's say I measured out two centimeters on this map. Okay, fine. So two centimeters on this map, one is to one hundred thousand, so that means two centimeters is two times is two times hundred thousand, which is two hundred thousand centimeters. Yes, that is correct. Now let me ask you, do you know how long two hundred thousand centimeters is? If it took you that long to think about it, then that's the then that's the disadvantage in practice. You can Sure, it's easy. Sure, it's easy to think how long one centimeter, one millimeter, or even one meter is because we've seen them on a daily basis. We see them on a daily basis, but something like two hundred thousand centimeters. Well, I know I kind of know the distance to that because I know that's the distance from my house to the shop, because that's simply that's two kilometers. But if you're do, but think about think about it for the first time, or when you literally just do it. Like if you had to think, like for example, if you had to think, what is three million millimeters in actual distance? It will take you a little bit longer because you need to do some conversions between the metric units. So that's what so that's what is meant by it's hard to imagine what that large number of small unit is supposed to be. Not exactly a disadvantage, more of an inconvenience. And then for bar scales, there's one main advantage and one main disadvantage. The main advantage is that the scale remains proportion in proportion if the map changes size. So if we go to our 
face shaped map if i make this map bigger or smaller it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter because since that bar scale is on the actual map if it gets bigger the the bar scale is getting bigger along with it if it goes smaller the bar scale is going smaller along with it so in other words it still remains in proportion to the size of the actual map and thus it does it and thus it remains the scale is still in proportion. It's fine as long as when the map changes size. But the disadvantage is the disadvantage is that it's usually not as accurate as a number scale. We got very fortunate when we measured this when we measured the distance between A and B and it actually worked out pretty nicely in our bar scale. But not every, but it's not going to happen like that every time. You're going to actually get measurements that will fall in between the intervals. And they're not always going to have that grid like how I did. I mean, this is what an actual bar scale tends to look like. There's no in-between grids over there. It's but, so if you fall in between those, you're going to end up actually estimating. And as a result, it's not going to be as accurate as what as you would think okay that's that's that for in terms of the actual notes my students now let's go let's do a couple of activities to actually um, drum this in so for our first activity we're going to go on to we're going to do 14.1 over here here you are given scales in which both sides have different units like the first one has centimeters and the second one has millimeters and i'm just going to convert this back onto my left hand thank you very much right your mission is to convert them in is to turn them into scales without any units you notice that the scale that the number scale that we used had no units that's because you can use any kind of unit on it you are going to turn these into into scales like that. A little the, my first hint is that you my first hint if you look at a couple of the, these examples is that you want to convert you want to convert the bigger unit into a into the smaller unit first. Convert the bigger unit to smaller units and then you can divide. Right. With that being said, I would give you, if you wish to do this by yourself, I would give you, you have the opportunity to pause the video so you can do this in three, two, one. Okay. Let's do the correction. Let's do the correction for this. So the first one, 10 centimeters is to one meter. Step one is to turn the one meter into centimeters. So you, it becomes 10 centimeters is to 100 centimeters. And then you divide both by 10, turning it into a scale of one is to 10. Oh. Next, one, four meters is to one kilometer. Turn the kilometer into meters. So, one kilometer is 1,000 mm, 1, meters, so that becomes 4 is to 1,000. Divide both by 4, and you end up with 1 is to 250. 160 meters is to 2 centimeters. Turn the meters into centimeters. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. So therefore, that turns into 16,000 centimeters is to 2 centimeters. Divide both by 2 and you end up with 8,000 is to 1. 5 kilometers is to 25 millimeters. Turn the kilometers into millimeters. Kilometers into millimeters is a times by 1 million. So that's 1, so that's 5 million millimeters is to 25 millimeters. Divide both by 25 and you end up with 200,000 is to one and then finally 350 
thousand millimeters is to ten kilometers. Turn kilometers into millimeters. That's a times one million. So that's three hundred fifty thousand is to ten million. Then you keep dividing until you have it in its lowest form. So I can can so cancel the four zeros on either side, and then you can divide the thirty five and the thousand by five to give you a final answer of seven is to two hundred. We cannot go any further than that because. We have to keep the scale in terms of whole numbers. There is a section that deals with that deals with decimals, but we are not going to do that in this lesson. So, with that being so that being said, that is that activity done. Now, let's do one more activity for this video. And that is 14.3 where the first question is ask the first question is asking you to essentially get the real measurements the between two streets on this map over here. As you can see, the scale of this map is one is to fifteen thousand. So you are at, so you are given the measurements in the question and you are required to get the actual distance in meters. The second question, fortunately, they give you the scale of 1 is to 325,000 and the distance between the two towns is 1.8 centimeters. What is the distance in, in kilometers? Once again, if you would like to pause, pause the video to, you know, so you can do this by yourself, let me just look at, show you that scale one more time. For the first question, you can now pause in three, two, one. Okay, let's do the correction. So the first one, the dis the measurement between the first two the first two uh, streets, which is Old Mutual Road and Strand Street, was three point three centimeters. So. The actual distance would be 3.3 .3 times that scale, which is 15,000, which gives you 49,500 centimeters. But they want the distance in meters. So you are going to take that centimeters and turn it into meters. To turn centimeters into meters, you divide by 100. This will give you 495 meters. The second one two centimeters that needs to be turned into meters so two times the scale which is 15,000 which will give you 30,000 centimeters to turn centimeters into meters divide by 100 which will give you 300 meters then we go into the second one which in which the scale was one is two 325,000 and you had to get the, the actual measurement of the two towns in kilometers the distance on the map was 1.8 centimeters. So 1.8 centimeters times 325,000 will give you 585,000 centimeters. To turn centimeters into kilometers is a division by 100,000. Meaning the actual distance in kilometers is 5,85 kilometers. If you, if you like if you enjoyed this content, please leave a like, share and subscribe and please and please comment on what you like to see next. With that being said, have a nice day.